Hey everybody, hope you're good. My name is Abby. If you're new around here, hi, welcome. Come take a seat. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back to watch one of my videos. So in today's video, I actually wanted to do a quick five to 10 minute get ready with me. And this is the makeup routine I've been doing since lockdown has happened. Um, I actually haven't been wearing much makeup, believe it or not. So on most days, I just tend to do my skincare routine, put on some sunscreen as part of my skincare routine, and that's about it. If you're lucky, I might throw on my brows and maybe some concealer and a bit of powder just to like stop my face getting oily. Um, speaking of my face, so as you can see, I do have some scarring that I need to cover. And in terms of my skin type, I am oily in my T-zone and normal in the perimeter. So a lot of my makeup concerns are to do with kind of concealing these like blemishes that you see here. If you've seen any of my previous videos, like really, really way back um, a good couple of years ago when I started my channel, I had quite bad acne I want to say or at least I had more frequent flare-ups so now that I have a solid skincare routine I haven't really seen much of those I do get the odd like breakout here and there I do suffer from hormonal acne so I tend to get acne in like my jaw area so that's really kind of like the constant battle with my skin so um, over time I have managed to get my skin to where it is right now and I'm quite happy with it. I just need to fade a few more scars here and there and Bob's your uncle, I have clear skin. So what I want to do today is to just cover up the, the marks but not necessarily slather my face with makeup like I do when I'm going to work. Um, I'm quite proud of the fact that I don't, necessarily, I don't necessarily wear a lot of makeup compared to what you'd see in most YouTube videos, like you do see some of these girls going in when it comes to foundation and concealer. I don't tend to do that, but um, even for my everyday routine now, I've actually scaled back even further and I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I don't even wear foundation. I haven't worn foundation in a good couple of weeks and that's only because I haven't really had any, anywhere to go apart from the like the supermarket so um, what I've been doing like I said is to just throw on some concealer some powder but anyway we'll talk through as I as I do my face so I'm just gonna show you what I've been doing and it does change because I do have like a ton of products I can use but what I've been using most often is what I'm gonna use today so oh, by the way, if you're not already subscribed, I hope you consider subscribing. If you're wondering what you get from this channel, it is basically focusing on affordable products. So I tend to do a lot of demos, wear tests, recommendations, MTs, um, yeah, focus around skincare and uh, makeup and obviously hair care like I mentioned. So if that sounds like your thing, I hope you will consider subscribing. And also you'll be helping me out, help me get to my goal of a 1k and beyond who knows so um, I actually wanted to first of all jump in with my brows um, I think in most people's skincare routine I want to say skincare makeup routine I want to say brows are non-negotiable unless you're one of those I don't know unicorns that tends to have amazing bushy brows and you only need to get your brows threaded or something as you can see my brows are not the fullest and they did used to be full but i have plucked and plucked and plucked away and this is what we're left with i did that when i was a lot younger and now i regret it who knew bushy brows were going to be a thing in 2020 or 19 or 18 however long that trend's been going on so what i'm going to do is just quickly do my brows and I do kind of hover between affordable brow pencils. I tend to do use pencil over anything else. So I know some people use pomades or powders or things like that. Um, I tend to just go for the good old fashioned eyebrow pencil. I do normally use my Revolution Duo kind of brow pencil thing. It's like a thick triangular shaped pencil with a spoolie on the end. But um, I've got a spare one somewhere in my collection and I just can't be bothered to get it out just yet. So I found this one. This is another good one that I like. This is from Primark and it's their PS Brow Pencil in the shade, I think, Dark Brown. It also has a spoolie on the end and it's just a traditional pencil that you have to sharpen. So I prefer this because you don't have to sharpen it. But I've been using this for a good couple of weeks and it's just been fine. So what I try to do is make sure my brows are not as oily because obviously doing my skincare routine it does mean that um 
my face will have a bit of, of a dew to it so I'm just lightly dusting my face with some Derma Blend and if you don't know what it looks like but this is what it is so I'm just going to do my brows um, let's see if it works if it doesn't then oh boy I might have to go offline and finish this off I've been trying to do my brows a lot more lightly less sculpted more natural looking only because the rest of my face is not really made up like that so I don't want to have like super arched or super defined brows I'm trying to do my bad brow first and I feel like everyone has a good brow and a bad brow this is my bad brow and I'm surprised it's growing so well as you can see I'm not like pressing too hard and I'm just trying to recreate my natural brow shape RIP natural brows so this is quite good actually if I do say so myself so I'm gonna try and do the same I've got this really wayward brow that always sticks up I feel like I need to cut it off or something So on some days when I like if, if I need to like quickly go out to the supermarket I will just put on my brows just so I look human and less like a naked mole rat and I will just go like this I won't clean up with any concealer um, if it's a good brow day that is if it's not a good brow day I will try and clean it up a bit but as long as I don't go in too heavy in the first place there's less clean up next I usually clean up my brows with my uh, mascara, mascara L'Oreal concealer this is the infallible more than concealer and it's in the shade honey 330 338 I don't spend too long on my brows because again the longer I spend the more chance I'm going to end up with a sculpted look and that doesn't really go when the rest of my face isn't really made up My brows are never going to look like absolutely identical but for the most part they look like cousins at least I think and then sometimes if I have a bit more time I will go in with like I've actually been getting into a brow gel more I know like who are you I don't I don't typically typically use brow gels usually I'm a one and done type of girl I use my brow pencil clean it up with concealer brush the hairs up and I'm done but since I have more time it's not like I'm going anywhere I have been playing around with this just to see if I can get a more textured look a more feathery but still shaped brow Hence the whole natural brow theme. It's so much harder trying to explain something usually when I'm doing this. This takes like five minutes at most, but I feel like I've been recording for almost 15 minutes now. Oi. I'm just gonna clean up under this brow just a little bit. So this is how a 5 minute routine turns into a 15 minute routine when I spend 15 minutes on just my brows. <sighs> Get a life. So brows are done-ish I think. It's whatever. Okay so brows are done. But like I said what I tend to do is go in with some concealer. So the concealer I've been using is my Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Longwear Concealer in the shade c13 and c13.2 this is what they look like they're the newer concealers and i just stop them on the areas of concern because again the aim of this is to not 
is to not cover my whole face. Okay. I'm going to use one of my favorite brushes, and this is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I think sometimes I don't usually use as much the C13 because that's more of a neutral. I'm going to go in with some C13.2 and that's more of a golden shade. I honestly don't even spend this much just because I'm talking. And because I don't have too much scarring on the top half of my face, I like to just concentrate on the bottom half. The same concealer in 12.5. Depending on my mood, I might just put some under my eyes. Sometimes I'll just set it with a powder, with like a banana powder or something. And I don't apply too much, it is just to brighten up my under eyes a bit. And I tell you, I'm really sloppy with this in the morning. It is never this precise. Okay, pretend flawless skin come through. So this is about as much as I do. And then I quickly set my whole face with my derma blend. This is a translucent powder. Like I said, I don't really go ham with it. I just apply a little bit to the places where I know I've applied some concealer. And the whole aim of this is just to have this smooth canvas, or at least this clearer canvas, um, to make it look like I didn't even bother, bother with foundation, basically. That's really the aim of this. I'm not trying to look dressed up, I'm just trying to look human about now. Oh, okay, so sometimes I will take my Peach Perfect Too Faced Mattifying Loose Setting Powder, or my NYX no filter finishing powder and I'll just quickly concentrate it on like my t-zone area so I think today I will use my NYX and this is what it looks like it's like a, I guess it's similar to the MAC mineral, mineralized skin finish and then sometimes if I'm feeling a bit extra I will apply some highlighter which is a shock because anytime I do my foundation routine I always have time for highlighter but these days I just can't be bothered I cannot be bothered with anything apart from waking up taking a shower having some breakfast and figuring out what I'm gonna do with my life slash my day and yeah um, but th these are the two highlighters I've been using so this is a really really old highlighter it's a Laura Geller blush and brighten in the shade Sun Sweat and I've had this for years but it is like a powder highlighter so I'm not going to throw it away. I will use it until I get sick inside of it. And this is the newer one. The packaging is already broken. Um, this is the Revolution Cheek Kit in the, in the name, in the shade Make It Count. Um, actually you can't even see that but this is what it looks like. I've used it on my videos quite a lot. So sometimes I'll just take these two shades and just give my cheeks a little bit of a glow. Not too much. And sometimes I'll also take this one and just layer it, layer it on top. This one is more of a believable glow. It's more of a skin type of glow. I can even take my powder brush and swirl it in here to give me more of a diffused like glowy look to my face. Um, I think I've only applied blush like two or three times in the 
yeah about two or three times in the whole time that this whole lockdown thing has happened this is the one i've been reaching for this is the nip and fire blusher palette and i tend to use these two shades but again today can i be bothered mm, why not let's do it for the two but i don't always i just um give myself a little bit of a glow lastly i actually don't bother with mascara these days this is just like i said to just give me clear skin if i need to apply mascara which actually have i applied mascara i think maybe once or twice this these are the two mascaras i tend to go for and this is the maybelline lash, lash sensational this is the false lash lift this is the newer one this is the old older one and these two are the ones i tend to go for um but i'm not going to do that today so what else is there i feel like i'm forgetting something oh yeah so gloss usually i will just grab my like lip liner it's like a brown shaded lip liner or even like my eyebrow pencil use that to line my lips and then um a gloss a newer gloss that i've been really liking is one of the kiko milano glosses this is this is the 3d hydro lip gloss um and this is in the shade number 21 so this is similar to um my lip gloss from revolution the one that got discontinued called what is the name i haven't used it so long i've actually forgotten the name but well, i'll leave the name on the screen when i um, do edit and this shade is like a cool tone nude color to finish off my face i kind of hover between these two it's more of like um more skincare type of setting water so this is the aloe and rose water tonic water and it's from a brand called pearlescence i believe it's actually a us um a brand in the u.s yeah it's made in the usa so i got it from tk max this big old bottle this is like 236 ml so i love the fact that it's rose water aloe vera just basically good ingredients i'm um, not sure where the camera cut off but it's by a brand called pearlescence it's for about six pounds it's eight fluid ounces 236 36 mls and i hover between using this to set my face and my old and trusty la roche Prose serum zinc this is a zinc zinc sulfate solution and it's good for cleansing and soothing so you can use it as a toner if you spray it on your face and wipe off your face with a cotton pad you can spray it on a cotton pad and use it to wipe your face and you can spray it straight on your face just to like use it as a cooling mist or to set your makeup or to just um soothe irritated skin men can use this too after shaving and i use it anytime like if i um i think i used it when i first started using my vitamin c because that used to kind of tingle my make my skin tingle a little bit so anytime my skin is feeling feeling inflamed or if i have like maybe just i don't know react a reaction to something or i don't know some kind of active skincare um product ingredient um is irritating me or whatever i'll use this so this works so today I think I will use the aloe rose water and this makes a huge difference in setting the powder because remember we are wearing powder so this helps the powder sink into my skin a bit more and in about 20-25 minutes up to an hour it will just blend in so much that it looks like skin and it also helps that I didn't apply too much makeup in the first place so um, it looks like skin so that's kind of the key thing to this when you are if you are going to replicate this at home it's um, better just to go with the light layer and just concentrate the concealer on the only on the spots where you need it and if you don't need it then i guess you're just gonna throw on some mascara and go about your day that's about it for this video so if you like this video again please do give it a massive thumbs up share it with your friends and what else check out my description box i have some useful links in there um and follow me on my instagram my handle is faceon.nailstone.headed everything will be in my description box please check that out and leave a comment even if it's just a thumbs up a like a hi how you doing by the way how are you doing hope we are coming very close to the end of this lockdown period so this is my face as we see it if you're not really into makeup and you've been looking for like a quick 
kind of makeup routine this is a lot more easier a lot more approachable there's no contouring or you know bronzing whatever oh speaking of bronzing this that might be like a, a nice thing to do um if you want to just add a bit more color to your face but again i'm brown so it's fine i don't need to bronze right now um not that i don't believe in bronzer i just don't feel like bronzing like i said i'm not going anywhere so yeah um this is what i've been doing to my face and if you feel like you're looking for inspiration to um just try out some new makeup or just to get into makeup this is the perfect routine for you this is a good routine for work as well actually so if you want to have like a light layer of makeup to just look just to enhance your natural features and this would work if you like this video again please do give it a thumbs up until next time have a blessed morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are and i'll catch you in my next video Bye.